Hello and welcome back. This is Ashkol Rafi once again. In our previous video, we learned how to create and set up this beautiful clickable HTML email signature into our Gmail account. And now in this video, we are going to learn how to customize the HTML source code so that we'll be able to make multiple email signatures by using the same HTML source code which we are going to get from this platform completely free of cost. And again, if you have missed the previous video i'm going to attach this video link into this video description so that you will be able to watch the video and learn how to set up everything step by step so let's move on i'm going to take you here and after that i'm going to download the html file from this platform so let's click on click here if you need the html source code which is as advanced so i'm going to click on it and after that it is going to populate this pop-up box where we are going to see a messy looking html code which we are going to copy and then we are going to format so to copy whole contents of this page we are going to select all of them so that i have just clicked here and after that i'm going to use Control a from my keyboard and it is already selected all the contents inside this file now we are going to copy them so use Control c so that all the contents are now copied into my clipboard now i'm going to cross this out and after that i'm going to go for formatting the code to do this i'm going to take you to a new tab after that i'm going to make a search for html code formatter and hit enter you are going to find a lots of resources which you can use to format your html code but i'd love to go with the first one so let's open it up here and after visiting the page you are going to find an interface like this simply paste the code that you have copied from this platform now we are going to click on this format html button right here it is going to give us a well formatted organized html code version of our uh, clickable email signature right so now our task is to copy the the codes into the clipboard so let's click on this copy to clipboard button so that it will select all of these codes and it will be copied into our clipboard we are done with copying the files now we have to go back into our computer desktop or whatever folder you would love to keep your files on for my easy access i'm going to keep it on my desktop so first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to open a new folder here and after that i'm going to give the folder a name like email signature and hit enter it is going to be saved now inside this folder i'm going to open a new text document which is going to be email signature which supposed to be the dot html file but i'd love to keep this as dot txt and after that we are going to create the html file so let's save this after that i'm going to open it up and paste the code right here and just take a look we have got all the codes all the formatted codes appearing here inside dot inside this dot txt file now i'm going to hit ctrl s to save the file now we are going to create the html version of this text file simply we have to click on this file after that you are going to click on this save as and then you are going to populate this pop-up box where we have to make the simple change on this dot html and you can provide whatever name you would love to provide here it doesn't matter but make sure you are providing this one dot html let's click on save and you are going to notice that we have got an a clickable html document has been opened now if i double click here it is going to take us here on this browser and you'll be able to take a look at our email signature as of it now it's time to customize the html code of our email signature we are going to add a new image to our email signature we are going to change the name title then phone number and every details like we're going to change the social media links as well so let's move on to the folder uh, which is here and after that we have to open up this html file into a code editor i'm using sublime text for this purpose so let's just open with i'm going to use sublime text and here we go we have got the code so first step is we are about to change the picture so let's say we don't have any picture here on this folder in this case i'm going to take a picture inside this folder and after that let me just show you what exactly you have to do so let's say i want to use this picture as an example so i'm going to copy this picture from here let's copy and let's go back to the folder which is here i'm going to paste it up here and just take a look we have got the image here so i'm going to actually rename this one as profile picture so let's click here profile 
picture.jpg and after that if i open this up just take a look it is looking squared so now we are going to make this rounded cornered so let me like a circled image as it is looking like into our website uh, in email signature right to do this simply we have to go here in a new tab and after that we have to make a search make rounded image and we are going to hit enter it is going to populate a lot of resources which you can use to um, make an image look circle so i'm going to go with the first one let's see if this is going to work for us so here we go yeah it is going to work so first of all after visiting the website simply we have to click on this upload image button and after that we have to select the image which is this one let's click on open and then we have to select the area you can increase the size of the image you can decrease the size of the image based based on your need so i'd love to keep this like this and after that i'm going to click on this crop circle button right here and it is going to crop the image and here we go here is the final image that we are going to get so i'm going to click on this download image and after that i'm going to save this to our folder where i'm going to provide the name as let's say profile picture dot png as it is let's keep it then click on save and now if i take you here on the folder we have got this image which is rounded we have got our html file which is really important to have in one folder right so now i have to take you back now to make the change on the image of our email signature we have to upload this image which we have just cropped this image into an image hosting platform so we are going to another website which is going to be post image dot um, this is org and i'm going to hit enter it is going to take us to this page make sure the options are selected like this do not resize my image and no expiration right so the image will never ever be expired the image will be available always with that specific link so now it's time to click on this choose image and after that we are going to upload this image as we want to use this one into our email signature so let's click on open and after that the image is going to be uploaded into this platform and here we go we have got this image uploaded now we need this direct link right so we have to copy this link so uh, we are going to come back here later but before that let's go back to the code now because we opened the file here on this code and after visiting the page as of now if i reload this file here let me simply take it here if i reload this file here you are going to see that nothing has changed yet but now if i take you back and after that as you may know to change the image we have to call img tag so that you'll be able to file the image file from there for from the html document so let me take you back here into our html um, codes and after that i have to hit ctrl f to my keyboard so that it will populate this search option where we are going to find let's say img and it is going to populate the place it is going to find out the place where the image is placed just take a look image tag and if you just notice here we have got the source code of this image src equal to then this image now if i simply copy this image and if i take you here and after that if i paste the code here let's uh, hit enter it is going to show us that this is the image that is appearing here right so we have found the code here into uh, into our code panel now we are going to delete this code now if i save it and after that if i take you back let me take you here if i reload this you are going to see we are seeing an error message appearing here or error file appearing here so in this case we are going to make the change we are going to upload this link so make sure you are taking the direct link so i'm going to copy this direct link and after that let's go back to the code and after that paste the code in between source code and after this double quotation as you can see here it started from the double quotation and ended here so now i am going to save this file to do this simply i'm going to click on ctrl s and now the file is saved let's go back and if i simply reload this page just take a look we are going to find out that we have got the image changed into our html email signature right now let me show you how we can change the name and other details simply i have to copy this part from here copy my name after that let's go back to the code after that we have to type out ctrl f and then ctrl v 
this is this is going to find out my name here so instead of Azhar Rafi I'm going to type out let's say uh, uh, what should I do so uh, Ajadar or Ajad Rafi just as an example Ajad Rafi and after that I'm going to click on save if I take you back to this file if I reload this page you are going to find out that my name has been changed now let's change this one from web developer to let's say co uh, content creator so I'm going to copy this code after that let's go back here I'm going to control control F and then control B it is going to find the match which is going to be web developer so in this case I'm going to change it simply by selecting let's delete this one and after that I'm going to provide let's say content creator let's save it let's go back to the file let's reload this one just take a look we have got the change appearing here now let's say I want to change this phone number and I would love to keep them as they are because these are really similar thing so in this case I don't have to make any change here so let's say how I can change this phone number simply I have to copy this phone number from here after that I'm going back to the code after that control F and control B then it is going to find out the phone number let's say I want to make the change here on plus eight eight zero one seven two five then let's say something I'm going to just put here like this this is a demo number so don't worry I'm going to click on control save and if I take you back to our document here or actually the signature if I reload this just take a look we have got the number changed as well now let me show you how you can change the Facebook links Instagram links LinkedIn links and YouTube links so um, for instance I'd love to change uh, just to show you the process I'd love to change the YouTube links and the let's say the YouTube link link only so in this case I have to go back here into the code editor and after that let's hit control F again so that you will find this option let's type out let's say YouTube and you are going to find just take a look my YouTube URL appearing here HTTP www youtube.com slash Rafi so let's say I want to change this one so now if someone clicks here they are going to be visiting my youtube page but let's say I want to type out Rafi's this is one of my Bangla channel so I'm going to copy this URL from here and after that I'm going to make the change here instead of this URL so let's just simply select from HTTPS to this part after that let's delete this let's paste the information which we have just copied from our for our new YouTube channel control S now if I take you back to the document if I reload this file after that if I click on this YouTube channel or YouTube link it is going to take us to this YouTube channel so this is how you have to customize your complete let's say html coded website and now we can simply remove this part as you can see here uh this message simply select sorry we have to select this message and after that copy let's go back to the file and after that control f control v and it is going to find out this section uh where it is hmm. here we go this is the part so in this case simply we can remove this whole uh, table draw from here so in this case let's hit delete and let's click on save now if I reload this page just take a look we have got a beautiful professional looking email signature appeared so now if you are looking for this HTML code I'm going to attach the HTML code link into the video description from where you can download the code and then customize it for your use and you can uh, follow the step-by-step -step process to change make changes on necessary places so thank you so much for watching i believe you have found this video helpful if you have found this video helpful please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and please let me know if you have got any question by commenting below it would be my pleasure to help you out and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos like this one in near future i have to see you in my next videos have a good day bye bye